Welcome to the Prep Athletics Podcast. This is Corey Heights. Some battles. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they got us. If they did, maybe. maybe. So you will get better as a player during that year. So it was kind of exciting. Like, oh, yeah, somebody wants me. Yeah, so let's talk about the, the big thing. The main reason everyone... I'd say wants to go to a postgrad or go to prep school is to get more exposure and be around guys like yourself that have college connections and get them placed at the right level. Now with COVID, we've got just a, a, a gluttony, a glutton of 2021 kids, right? So you're going to build your team next year, but with that, you've got to make sure you're going to be able to place them. And I know a lot of postgrad co- or prep school coaches are nervous about this. They're nervous who they're taking on. And I know we've talked in previous conversations where you're really not as worried about that. Tell me why you're not as worried and how you're going to place kids now in this new environment that really no one knows how it's going to, how it's going to turn out. Right. So I I flipped the script a little bit and I say, one of the reasons I'm, I'm not, I'm just not any more nervous than I would be in any year. Right. I'm nervous any year. This is a, this is, you know, this whole thing is, is, you know, uh, 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 what uh, uh, the razor's edge? I'm, we're living on the razor's edge in, in some degree in this environment. So I'm I'm nervous about that stuff every year. That's the that's the starter, right? Uh, I think that mature kids can can figure some things out too. That that's on you know that that gets back to the last question. But mature kids seem to have a better way about uh, getting to the end game than less mature kids and understanding everything that. That, that goes into it and the fact that it's not always exact or, you know, a- anything like that. Okay. Um, so that, that's kind of my starter. Um, secondly, right. I say, listen, I, right from the beginning, please don't come to Bridgeton simply for exposure and coach wits connections. Okay. And, and I remember a group of guys I had no nine said, Hey coach, you, you know, you know, everybody, you know, you can, blah, blah, blah. I said, look at, you know, me knowing everybody, you know, won't get you a cup of coffee. Okay. Like that's, so I, I really, and, and maybe it's a little bit of taking myself off the hook. So I'm not trying to, you know, Hey, come for development. Okay. Come for development and, and all of the development we're talking about, but let's keep it in basketball terms. You know, you focus on be having the best year you can. You focus on becoming the best player you can become. Have some faith and trust, right, that this thing can and probably will work out at the right level if you take care of business, right? But if when you focus on the external too much, right, when you focus on what somebody else thinks of you, when you focus on what level you should be getting to, I think you're, you know, I think, I think you're missing the boat, you know, not to say that that's, uh, you know, wrong to, to concern yourself. I'm not saying that at all. I just think that that development has to trump exposure. Right. And then uh, look at the reality is every talented kid that I've had for every appropriate level is going to get recruited. So there's number one. When, when you and I spoke before, I said that, look at, I, I know my most talented guy who's a division one player, a high division one player. He's going to get that. Like if he's that good, he's going to get it COVID or no COVID he's getting it. You know, it may not be quite as many places because they got, he's going to get it. Elite division three schools recruiting my guys. Guess what? They're going to recruit the elite division three player. COVID is not going to get in the way of that. Okay. So when you talk about uh, people that, you know, tough situations and all that, I think it's going to be the marginal or fringe. I don't, I don't, I don't mean it in any negative way. Right. But it's going to be the borderline kid at whatever level we're talking about that some year maybe has an easier time finding something than, and, and maybe not either because it's never easy okay it's easy when you're choosing a level that you're clearly good enough to be an impact player for then it's easy but if you're trying to do something you know if you're trying to tom brady the thing or if you're trying to you know aaron Rodgers the thing 
you you might have to you know you might have to zig and zag is something i tell my guys it, it's you know that that's the way it is it always has been and 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 so uh i think it's it's just understanding how to go about the process and uh so i'm i'm not that any more concerned than I am in any year, but I, I get it. I, I'm not saying that what, you know, I'm not saying that perspective is all wrong.